Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to today's flip lesson. Today's lesson is on measures of middle. Let's get started. Our objective today is I can measure the middle of a set of data by finding the mean, median, mode, and range with 100% accuracy in multiple attempts. Now, because this lesson is not part of a unit, it is not in a digital math notebook. However, you do have a worksheet where you should be writing your notes as you watch the flip lesson with me. All right, friends, mean, median, mode, and range are all different ways to measure middle. The first one, and probably the hardest, is finding the mean. Another word for mean is average. The average, we talked about this when we did line plots, we find by step one, adding all the numbers, and step two, dividing all of the numbers, the total that you get from step one, by the number of numbers in the set. Let's try one together. Remember that while I'm writing it down, you should be writing it down too. All right, so we have in this data 79, 87, 99, 97, 86, and 92. And our first step is to add all of our numbers. So I'm going to start up here. We have 79 plus 87. I'm just taking the first two and I'm going to cross them out because I used them. So 9 plus 7 is 16, and 8 plus 8 is 16. So I get 166. So 166 plus my next number, which is 99. All right, so 9 plus 6 is 15, carry the 1. 10 plus 6 is 16, carry the 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So I have 265. Now 265 plus 97. So I'm just adding one number each time. 5 plus 7 is 12, carry the 1. 10, because 9 plus 1. 10 plus 6 is 16, carry the 1, and that makes 3. I'm going to scoot down over here. We have 362 plus 86. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14, and that makes 4, so we're up to 448. And our last number is 92, so 448 plus 92. 8 plus 2 is 10. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 4 is 14, and 5. So when we add up all of those numbers, we get the number 540. Then our second step is to take 540 and divide by how many numbers were in our set. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm going to divide by 6. Now 6 doesn't go into 5, but 6 does go into 54. 6 times 9 is 54 evenly so we have no remainder but our answer is not just nine because we have to bring down that zero and six goes into zero zero times so that means that our mean or average is 90. pause this video if you need to copy any of your work on your worksheet before moving on the next three measures of middle are median, mode, and range. The median is the middle data value. Again, kind of different middle though. And let's see how we find it. It says we're going to list our data in order from least to greatest. 
So up here we have our data. We have 99, 98, 102, 100, 103, 101, and 99. So our smallest number is going to be 98, then 99. There's another 99, so I'm going to repeat it. 100, 101, 102, and 103. So then we need to find the middle by crossing off data from each side. So I'm going to cross off the lowest and the highest, the lowest and the highest, the lowest and the highest. So our middle one is 100. In an odd set, we find the middle. If there is an even number, then we do the same thing, but when we get down to two numbers, we find the mean of those numbers. Our next data value is called the mode. Mode is probably our easiest one. Mode means most often. It's the number that comes up the most. Our first step for this one is also to list our numbers from least to greatest. So we did that for median, so I'm just going to copy. I had 98, 99, 99 again, 100, 101, 102, and 103. Now, the question of how we find the mode is to say which data value appears the most. So I have 198, two 99s, 1 100, 1 101, 1 102, and 1 103. So that means the number that occurred more than once would be 99. So the mode is the number we see the most often. And the range, the range is the difference between the highest and lowest. So we list our data in order from least to greatest one more time. 98, 99, 99, 100, 101, 102, and 103. Then we find the largest number and the smallest number, and we subtract. So if I have 103 minus 98, if I have 3, I can't take away 8, and I can't borrow from 0. So this becomes a 0 and then a 10 and a 9. There we go. All right, 13 minus 8 is 5, and 9 minus 9 is 0. So that means that our range is 5. Remember that all of this should be written on the worksheet that matches this flipped lesson. Pause if you need to continue writing your notes before moving on. All right, fifth graders, that was an easy one today. There is an exit slip that goes with it, and make sure that your worksheet is complete. Great job!